an exhibit at the Memorial Art Gallery is showcasing deaf art and celebrates the 30th anniversary of a deaf art collective called DeVia. It stands for Deaf View Image Art. So it's art about the deaf experience, basically. The work also showcases work by deaf artists who worked before the movement was codified. It just basically shows that deaf people all throughout town, all throughout time, have had a very shared experience. The exhibition comes mostly from RIT's Dyer Art Center, which is located on the campus of the National Technical Institute for the Deaf at the university. That collection has been growing for 50 years, and this exhibit has been in the works for 15 to show and educate people about the deaf culture. First, we have our own language. American Sign Language. We have our own literature, both through sign language and through the written word. They've even created an app by the NTID at the Center of Access Technology that was specially designed for the exhibit. Using a QR code, it can be downloaded on site with written, spoken, and signed information right from the source. And I think it's a really unique experience for people because each of the artist is able to give a little bit of information about the work. The goals of this exhibit are to inspire the deaf community and to educate the public on deaf art and culture. And according to Tabitha Jacques, who is the director for the Dyer Art Center, it also has a simple and powerful message. I think in general, people think of deafness as a medical issue, a problem that needs to be solved. But with this exhibit, it just kind of turns, turns the perspective around. It allows people to see a different side of deaf culture. We have lives. We have jobs. We have our own experiences. And really, we're the same as everybody else. Our culture has its own rich history and all these other aspects that we want to be able to share with people. So deafness is not just a medical condition. We're just like everybody else. The exhibit closes on February 16th. Dan Gross, News 8.